Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my braid outs. This is my favorite go-to style. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I'm going to be starting off with stretched hair. I did do a video on this, how I get my like kind of blowout stretched out looks. So if you guys want to see that, I'll leave it down in the description box. I'm going to take uh, one section and then I'm going to spritz a little water on it and that's mostly just going to add moisture into my hair and help my braid pattern form a lot better. So the products that I'm going to be using are the Camille Rose from the Lavender Collection and I'm going to start off by using the spritzer and then I'm going to use the whipped cream leave-in. So I'm just going to work those products into my hair. Then I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and start to detangle the section because I want my hair to be extremely smooth so that my braid out will come out a lot better. And then I'm just going to take some foamy lotion. Um, this kind is just like a random kind that I got from the beauty supply store. So you can get any type of foamy lotion that you like, uh, whatever you have available. So now I'm just braiding and I'm trying to get my roots really tight so... Once you braid, that your roots won't be puffy. So I'm trying to braid really tight and then smooth as I go. So the technique that I'm using is from Hairlicious. Um, I never used to use foamy lotion on my braid outs until I watched her video. I'll leave her channel link below if you want to, if you guys want to see her video. And I never used to really use perm rods on my hair either. Um, so yeah, I love her technique. And it made, really made my braid outs turn out a lot better. So this is kind of like a fail proof way to do your braid outs. Just use some foaming lotion and perm rods. And I don't think you can really go wrong. So the, what the foaming lotion does is it just helps your braid out form a lot better and last a lot longer. So I'm just going to take this bobby pin and pin down that section because it was bulky and I don't want that to show once I take out my braid out. So I just bobby pinned it down to keep it flat. And another thing is you want to make sure that you're using moisturizing products. Make sure you're using products that work well with your hair um, for you to get the best results. And then when you're rolling up your perm rods, I would suggest that you roll them up a lot higher than what I did I usually do I don't know why in this video I didn't roll them up as high but you guys will see that my braid out actually came out a little uneven and I'll show you guys that once I take it down so this is the finished look I have four braids in the front and then I have four braids in the back so now I'm just going to take my satin scarf and lay that across my edges so they can lay flat. And then I'm going to pull out my braids so, they don't, so that they don't bunch up. And then I'm going to take my um, Ghetto Girl bonnet. <laughs> and then I'm going to wear that to sleep overnight. It's the next day and I'm just taking out my perm rods. If you can leave your braids in for a few days, that'll be even better. You'll get better definition. So now I'm just taking out the perm rods and showing you guys how my hair curled. Now I'm going to take my hair oil and then put that throughout the braids to just prevent frizz and to add shine. Took a, I just took out that bobby pin. As you guys can see, it did lay flat. And then I don't have a special way to take out my braids. I just make sure I don't go in between the sections that I braided. So you guys will see I tr I'm trying to like separate only the three pieces that I originally braided with. Just, that's just going to help me reduce frizz and keep the definition in my hair. Okay, so there's two things that I wish I wouldn't have done that I don't know why I did. <laughs> I usually, like I said earlier, I, I make sure that my perm rods are up a little higher. That gives me more of a curl at the bottom of my hair. And I usually don't fluff out my hair after I'm done taking it down because my hair naturally fluffs and gets bigger. But in this video, for some odd reason, I decided to fluff out my hair just to show you guys it not be so limp um, and have it be bigger for the video. But it actually just created frizz for me. So if you're recreating this um, braid out at home, just make sure your perm rods are higher so you can get more of a curl. And 
make sure that well some people like to fluff their hair some people don't but i'm one of those people who don't like to fluff my hair it just naturally fluffs on its own I do not like to really separate my hair either. Um, I like to just take certain pieces that I feel like will separate easily. Like this piece right here, it didn't want to separate, so I just left it alone. Like I can tell it was going to frizz up, so I just left it. And then as you guys can see, I started fluffing, which I shouldn't have done. But, <laughs> but it still came out pretty nice. This is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.